Hey again everybody, it's Robert184, two hours, two Bs from YouTube and Gundam.tk. Good to have you here as it's Sunday night and that means the newest episode of Gundam Age, episode 9, has finished airing. Now it's time for my recreation and thoughts before I get back to some extreme verses. The show kicks off on the Diva where you have Flit talking to Wolf about his newest suit, the GXs, which is played here by the Genoist Custom because I don't have the new one yet. And he talks about, and they make a few jokes about how it looks very similar to the Gundam and may in fact have been copied. And that serves as a good commercial as they talk about this, because otherwise you're not going to see anything more of the GXs until at least next week. The episode kicks off with Wolf being the cool guy that he is, getting a cell phone from somewhere in space, and it turns out to be where he got the GXs last time. So then he flies like a madman, even sticking out his tongue as he almost crashes on the way in to go meet Mr. and Mrs. Madonna, the Ian, I suppose, of Double O that we're going to have in Gundam Age, Emily and DK, who is played by this paint can, tag along. And there's going to be a couple different things that happen here. The first one being is that we get to see, rem be reminded that Flit is a developer of the Gundam and he has a great conversation with Mr. Madonna. And I wonder what's going to happen there, bringing the Asano family and this kind of cool combi together. Are there going to be some great mobile suits in the future? And even Emily is going to get a very nice talking to from Mrs. Madonna about the power of love and how you have to trust and totally put your heart into it, which is hopefully going to change some of the attitude she's had lately, especially concerning Flit and going to war. Along the way in the tour, even DK says that he'd like to get a mobile suit and looks up at a white one, so I wonder if he's going to Hayato himself into a gun tank along the way, and I wonder if there's going to be a Karaba or something like that in the later generations. Anyway, everything's going good. They're looking at lots of mobile suits until in the background they notice that one of them is the all-important bad guy. Yes, it's the Zetus, hidden like a wolf in the sheep's pen. The Zetus, of course, starts running amok the minute there's about to be a reveal, and Flit and Wolf hop into two Shardals, or whatever they're called, the Green MS uh, Grunt Suit for the Federation, played here by a couple of Genoises. And then, as the Zetus transforms into the ugliest transformation, as you'll see in my review of it, Flit jumps on his back and they head out into space before Wolf can come and carry on the battle. Feel free to insert crude joke here because as Wolf holds off the Zetus, they made the wise call of sending out the Titus which gets launched into space. And then something that's actually really cool because Flit just being on tour was not wearing his mobile suit, which means he has 15 seconds to get out of the cockpit of his Shardall and into the cockpit of the Titus to have a chance. And he pulls it off and actually it's a pretty cool scene. For the commercial break, don't forget to check out reviews of all of these Gundam Age kits, which I'm sure will be added to in the future. As the Titus faces off with the Zetus, you'll notice of course how useless the Titus is without any sort of long-range weapons whatsoever. Its knee kick does nothing. And then you're going to have Captain Obvious inside saying, Captain, we need more speed. And I wonder if that's foreshadowing for something else. However, at this point, we're going to have Dezel chilling in his couch. I wonder if he's playing Extreme Versus. And he decides that he's bored and he calls off the Zetus because the Titus, despite being new, is just more of the same. Safe and sound on the inside, Wolf and Flit are going to find out some information about how the Zetus appeared here and the mysterious masked shark clone, Yaku Dore, I've still got to learn how to say his name, seems to be the one who dropped it off and basically Mr. Madonna called Wolf as soon as he found out that there was battle data of them fighting the Federation which leads everybody back to the D.Va for this episode's most important scene. Because on the bridge, Captain Grudek decides that he's not going to follow through on their regular course to head on to the next space colony and drop off the civilian crew, although they don't mention that, it seems. And he reveals that they are going to go and attack the U.E. And for this time, Emily doesn't seem to be too annoying. She stands up and says everything that she had heard about the original captain and his terrible plans to leave the civilians behind to die on the original space station. And then Flit reveals that yes, the reason why Grudek is doing this is because his family was killed by the UE. At this point, the military narco guy stands up and says, hey, this is wrong, insubordination, etc., etc. But in the end, Grudek says, we're going to go for this. Flit says he agrees, Wolf laughs and joins, so does Malaise, much to, and despite Wolf being quite pleased to hear this. And you have some fantastic background music as Grudek orders them to launch as we get to start the biggest battle we've seen so far in Gundam Age. And in the final scene of the episode, we're left with them saying, oh my goodness, what has the Age system learned from its need for speed? Overall, I had to say that this was a lot of fun as an episode compared to the last three episode arc, which I found dragged on in a few places. There's lots of interesting things and more questions, of course, to be answered than we actually got answers, including more about the masked man 
The fact that Dezel either seems to have verbal or mental or he's just telling the pilot of the Zetus what to do, I figured that he was the pilot, although that may still be. If he can control a mobile suit from that kind of distance using just his brain, that's going to be quite an interesting addition. Really cool scenes, I'm talking about Flit getting into the Titus in the middle of space with no suit on. But the best part of this episode for me was just very simple. If you watch a lot of anime, there's always going to be that moment where the whole team decides we're all coming together to fight this common cause. And when that happened with that great background music, if you think it's cheesy, you're not going to enjoy it and you're only going to think it's cheese. But if you think it's Gundam, then I thought it was a pretty good thing to see Grudek, Emily, Flit, and everybody all come together, which gets us all ready for the inevitable massive confrontation that's coming up. In terms of mobile suit for the week, I've got to say there was nothing that really stood out. The Titus looked a little bit useless with no ranged attacks. The Zetus, again, uh, really impressed me early on, but this episode didn't seem to have that much power. And there was an awful lot of time for Wolf and Flit to get their stuff together there. And then what else did we see? I'd say the green Shardal is my mobile suit of the week. And in terms of character, we've seen Grudek and his pain at the loss of his, fa uh, his family and especially his family photos. Flit and his mother, Mrs. Madonna had a few moments, as did Mr. Madonna. They're a cool combo, those two. But I have to say my character of the week is maybe surprising. It's Emily and the fact that she was here in a positive way throughout. And it looks like she's learning something and will be there to support Flit instead of just to nag him for the rest of this show. And if you watch the teaser for next week, it looks like it's going to be full-on war with the Diva and Elba and Zalam taking on Bakto's Gafrans and Zetuses. Oh my, should be pretty exciting, and if only there was some way that the Age 1 could have more speed. I couldn't guess how they're going to possibly pull that off. Anyway everybody, Robert184Gundam.tk, love to hear from you what you think about this silly video and the episode itself and where Age is going. And I also wanted to put in a plug for Crane Kick has built amazing papercraft Gundams. You gotta go check him out, I'll have links to his page down below. He's got a 7 foot Gundam Mark II which looks fantastic. And I should commission him to make a statue in Akihabara or something like that. Anyway, everybody, look forward to lots more reviews coming up of pretty much everything from Age. And I'll see you next week with the next episode. Things are heating up. Can't wait to see what happens. Bye. The fact that DK expressed an interest in a mobile suit, maybe I should have named him Character of the Week. Or by that I mean this inanimate paint jar.